overshooting it, able to find it getting stunned out and with possession into the law in that bubble. Trying to go for that oh, shot hello. off the inner backboard, but saved by Greek Bubble. Trying to go for that oh, shot hello. off the inner backboard, but saved by Greek. Stolen right back and going for another shot attempt and cleaning it back up is the law. So Trek does get there and back, so the law taking that. Ready has a teammate, that's a Vanzi, but doesn't quite make the shot. Unfortunate miss, but a good re-grab. So another rebound and shot to the law. Clears into the other side. So as these boosts try to come out, it will be the advantage given to six foot over, and then we'll get an uncontested shot as the law with left here. And just kind of waiting. The thing about this, uh, these delay plays, of course, and they go for nice pass actually to Cyanide. There you go, swagger to Cyanide for a first two. And Princess getting stunned. So uh, that disc in another castle, I guess, but Swagger trying to boom it in from deep. And what a shot from Swagger. But now getting it back, lining up, trying to get rid of the disc. Another ding off the backboard this time as uh, there was some heavy contest. But you know what? You know the rest. It's Vanzi. Rebound and goal. The rebound's big story. You, the law. The law, he's been having a great game. And what a great pass that was. A Citrus feeding the dunk. And now uh, just breaking this open for at least a couple goal lead. Five points. Trench, it will now be. Six foot over scrambling for possession. They have this five point advantage. They have a minute remaining on the clock. And they go for that nice. shot attempt, but the save from Swagger Nuts in the clear. Stacks all split apart for six foot over, so uh, Victor should be able. Never mind, because here comes the shots, and it will find the time. 12 to 5, 30 seconds left, and first round should go here. Well, as everyone tries to retreat, seeing kind of some, uh, actually, some good man coverage here. Right there, though, getting a little bit lost. Citrus. Well, there's a loss, and there's the bound. So up high goes Princess, seeing if they can find a goal. It will be a roll in from Cyanide. A bit uncontested on that one almost. Just this stack from Vickis out of position and they're gonna go deep. Will they find the shot? This one on one with the goalie in the bubble and they nice. will find the shot. Fancy at five meters. Before they have a player at nest, they have a player at trench. What are they gonna go for? They're gonna go for that nest shot. Now they have this one on one with the goalie and they'll find it at the bottom pocket. Been trying awfully hard, but there it goes. Finally, some grief getting the shot open here. A uh, goalie did dive, but just not quite on. That shot attempt will be wide, and they will chase it again with their secondary stack. They need this, they need these points, and they will find it off the backboard at eight meters. Swagger nuts from Sina. Clear attempt. And with less than two minutes left, every single goal is going to be super important. Going for a hesitation, and there's a proclamation on the goal, putting his flag. Sending it back to that back line, the law holding. They need to make a shot at time. They need to extend their lead and they will find it. Leap around.
All right, hello everybody. Welcome to VR Master League. We are now, as I'm actually just realizing, because I think I had it wrong. We're now on week eight. Never mind the fact that it said seven on the intro screen. But yeah, this is a uh, day one of week eight matches for the week. Just went live. Scheduled, uh, well, being scheduled throughout the week, went live earlier in the day, around noon Eastern or so. And uh, this match, well, it will be a uh, good one, I, I'm hoping for, between two what are newer teams to the league. We have 18 and under on one side, uh, all of them joining up here, and a Team Mirage over on the other. So, uh, two teams, lots of new faces. In fact, I'll pull up, I'll pull up the... Uh, web page for you here just to see so 18 and under has a roster of autistic gamer 77 burden boy a mighty mouse rlx phoenix and newton and uh, they've had actually had one match last week that was played a challenge one between 18 under and six foot over so the over and under uh, they did drop that match but it was a pretty competitive one all things considered you can see they're uh, 16 to 14 and then 5 to 11 in the first round for them in their debut in week 7. Now for Mirage, pull up their page just as well. Uh, nice nice logo. Got to love got to love the logo they're rocking with here and all the teammates have their own colors. Good stuff. Uh, glad to see them getting integrated here in the league right off the bat and already already with the flash. And I also actually Caught their bio too. If you want to get a read at that, pretty uh, pretty entertaining here. So they're again all new players here, but committed to uh, the team and making a, hopefully for them a strong debut. You know we have Tony, Goran Jr., Original Super Nerd X, DJ Echo, and Fontek. So cool to see. Now uh, hello to everyone in there in the Twitch stream joining us today. See 22 people already here. So this is going to be our first of two matches, not in a row, granted. Uh, but we do have another challenge match that was issued for later on in the day, in about uh, two and a half hours from now. It'll be uh, at 9 p.m. Central Time. It's Legends versus Nova. So that will be quite the exciting one as well for later on. And that shall indeed be casted, of course. All right, so... Both teams are in the game now, uh, just discussing in the open comms. I have it muted for the stream for just the moment. Uh, but we'll go to the gameplay shortly here. It sounds like they're about ready to start. And actually, it would seem that we may have a possible substitute here for 18 and under, if I'm correct. Just checking their roster. Yes, it looks like a Quotai here, who was... Most recently on Olympus, uh, which is a team that did disband. A newer team, they disbanded a week ago, but their players kind of all split into either other teams or substitute uh, roles in the league. So they're kind of all dispersed here. But as I've been saying, kind of the running theme in recent weeks, an awful lot of new teams, new players, new faces. So a lot of uh, people just trying to kind of make their, their big break here, get that name recognition. I'm always happy to figure it out. And uh, I was being asked in the Discord here by Tony from Mirage, just if we're good to go for sure. Yep, all good. So giving the go-ahead, the green light, we're about ready to start. So again, welcome everybody. And good luck and have fun to these two new teams of the league. 18 and under, over on the orange side, it's Newton, Arlex, Phoenix, Kotai, Mighty Mouse. Have fun, have fun, have fun. You can already hear the good sportsmanship coming through. Always love to see it. And over on the blue side, it's Mirage. With Tony, Fontak, Original, and Goran Jr. So, welcome, welcome, everybody. Buckle your seatbelts and hope for a great match to start off this week. We already ended the week seven in spectacular fashion with some fantastic matches. So, just hoping to start the second or the eighth week the same way as Tony and Goran Jr. come here. Looking for the back pass to Bowtie and. We'll see what they're capable of as a team already. That's a nice rollout on the pass. Couldn't quite make the shot, but you got to love the back pass. The pass to the backboard already. The fundamentals looking good here as a original tries to take that. But Newton for 18 and under taps it out. And if you couldn't tell by the name, 18 and under in fact are, at least unless I'm being trolled, true to their name, a 
team of teens. The Teen Titans rolling in here. And shout out to Team Titan but way back in 2017. They were they were a thing. Might recognize one of the players, especially named Game over on Flair, who has been dominating as of late. Good performance last night, or yesterday afternoon against Kangorillas, as that shot gets taken out by Mighty Mouse and cleared out. So a lot of stuns going off here to start off. And the disc rolling over into the goal area as it's contested, uh, well, uncontested rather. Quotai grabs it, going to back it out. And again, good back pass here, resetting to the nest, going for the shot, and two points. First on the board for 18 and under. Right on the goalie, had to get rid of it there, Newton did, because he had the defense kind of closing in and starting to drape on him, but got rid of the disc quite nicely. And uh, there you can see in the replay, good start. See Woosh in there saying, that Mirage logo though. I know, right? It's pretty sweet, I like it. Even have the, the uh, kind of animated version of it on their webpage. I think Skull Crusaders are another one of those teams that have a uh, cool animated logo, so I gotta love it. That's kind of why with this new overlay here that we integrated a couple weeks ago, that's why I wanted to feature the logos, because people care. I care. Uh, it's, it's cool giving a look at the personalities of the teams and having that featured all the time on stream. So uh, again, I'm liking what I'm seeing here from 18 under. Both sides, really, they're uh, very careful with these passes, and they're not really... They're not trying to force anything that they don't have to. You can see this rollout here. Uh, pass a little bit too much astray, but still should have time to collect that just before the defense closes in. And he does, so uh, original contesting on one side over on the other, though. Will be received here by Gorin, who gets stunned out by Phoenix. Now Mighty Mouse takes this, dodges up, under, right on through, goes for, looks like just a clear play, knowing he has a teammate over there in that corner, as it does float back down to mid, and that rad logo for these two rad new teams. Not to be confused for the rad team, there is no team. That is uh, actually a team, they're, they're called there is no team. Very confusing. Uh, anyway, there is a team with a couple of Ready at Dawn developers in the league. Just not one of these ones, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. But Mighty Mouse here trying to make a play, good corner pass, and Quotai finishes strong off of a plethora of defense just closing in again, but gets rid of it, and that's four points. A three minutes into round one here for 18 and under. See, uh, Matthew in saying there, it's created by Tony, uh, this team I imagine. Cap uh, team Captain Tony, perhaps. Yeah, he was reaching out to me a little bit earlier in the day, just asking about the casting and if it'll be streamed and things like that. And as I always say, for any new players, new teams, uh, you know, we definitely give priority and make sure to cast every game possible. Doesn't matter the experience level or, or what have you. Uh, if it's... If it's ever possible, we always try to stream every match, and I think we get a solid 90% of them, if not more. Right there, though, a solid shot from Tony, so there he is, leading his team for the first two now for Mirage. A good shot off a good pass, uh, despite the low momentum for Tony, still had the presence of mind to lay that one in nice and easy. Good shot. See, Burden Boy in the chat also saying, man, wish I could have played. Well, maybe next time the beauty of a uh, VRML obviously just the flexible scheduling and uh, you can have those expanded rosters up to six man so a lot of these teams do have uh, five or six players in them and at least two games a week you get you know a challenge per week if you'd like right there Tony oh he's gonna like that shot all right tying it up for Mirage here for a piece now off of a, a double dose of buckets from Tony Uh, but yeah, so including the challenge matches you can issue to teams, uh, up to three matches a week with the flex, flex scheduling. So we're just a little bit halfway through this season, but you still have a month, maybe more, to uh, get some matches in for sure. So hope to see you soon. But in the uh, meanwhile, Kotai going to back that out to Mighty Mouse over in the back line. And approaching here on the offense, nicely spaced for 18 and under. Going uh, 18 and over to Kotai, then to Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse, a deep pass, just finds the good accuracy on that. The second one, though, a little bit stray, bounces off the Geo, enables uh, Mirage to cause a turnover. So now they're looking for some stacks. Uh, it looks like one of the players there from Mirage might have thrown his hand out, perhaps. Punched a wall, uh, maybe. Happens from time to time, so... Original trying to get that settled. All the meanwhile, pass going down to Newton as he slowly passes up there. Maybe looking for a bouncer over to Quotai, but unable to retrieve. So now Phoenix gets that one. 
tries to send one. Uh, off the bounce, rebounded eventually by Quotai, and Quotai now backing that one out to Mighty Mouse. Again, really like the passing I'm seeing from both these teams, and going in to reign supreme. Mighty Mouse, the mighty shot, up by two points in round one. Still four minutes, a little over four minutes remaining, so this is a neck and neck thus far. Goal for goal, just about neither team really pulling ahead by much more than a, a couple, so gotta love this, this start. Mirage falling behind by two, but they're going to be on offense now on this Joust, seeing what they can do. Now that ba uh, bounce actually will roll fairly close to his teammates. Kotai and Phoenix are there to contest that one, maybe get it back, but are forced into a quick slap clear. So over on the wall, now taken back by Fontak. Fontak with a great pass to Gorin. Gorin Sorin from above, uh, low momentum, rebounded here on the other side. Bottom side, that is, by Tony, trying to go for a third shot. Couldn't make it that time, and good save from Mighty Mouse on that play. And now a clear just as well. So we'll go up into the corner, lining up for an opportune moment, but no, the moment has passed. Mighty Mouse getting stunned by Original, who clears out the disc towards middle. So I want to do a quick shout out as well. Hold that thought as a Kotai, well, can't hold the disc for too long. Loses it there to some more stuns. Good brawls here from Mirage. Uh, but shout out to any new players, new teams, or anyone who hasn't competed in this league yet or much. Uh, going in here now for a touch. Little off. Rebound. Kotai gets by. Not for long. And there's a slap once again going along the wall and into the tunnel as the boosts roll out here. It's Tony collecting. He's already got all the points so far. Uh, can't get that one, but will find his own rebound to tie it up again. Good presence of mind there for Mirage and for Tony. All six points thus far for his team. Uh, but as I was saying, we do have a lot of uh, new players, a lot of new faces, and a lot of people in the substitutes, I've noticed. Uh, nearly 50 substitutes in the league right now. A lot signing up in the last uh, two weeks or so. We've gotten, I think, a dozen new ones just about. But, uh, but yeah, if you haven't played, I mean... Get yourself involved, get get on some teams here, because uh, with the way that matchmaking works and the ladder system works here, scheduling, it's all flexible. Uh, you get you get what you put into the league, right? So if you want to take it super serious, you can. If you just want to be casual about it, you can. Right now, though, no casual passes. These are very precise from 18 and under, but good save from Fontac. So great passing followed by great defense from these two teams. Again, I don't, these are all new faces to me, and uh, I'm pleasantly surprised by how organized they're playing, considering this is their first, you know, their first weeks of action here. They're just missing that grab here, slap through, Mighty Mouse and Phoenix will try and link up. Uh, looks like actually getting split apart a bit, so instead Tony for Mirage does take this one over. And uh, Tony looking for some angles. Right now all of his teammates kind of tangled in the midline because of those brawls from 18 and under this time. So unable to really get forward momentum yet. Tied up, we have a minute left, so the next uh, score in this game could very well be a game winner. We'll see. But uh, time is winding down with one minute left. Late Toast saying uh, Mighty Mouse is pretty strong, pretty mighty indeed, as Kotai takes us back. 52 seconds left. And a ramp pass, maybe clear. We'll just get right back to the intercepted hands of Goren playing the midline quite well, but having it stolen. So Newton trying for that opportune moment here. We have 37 seconds. So both teams unable to really maintain control in this final minute. A little bit of hot potato play as it goes back and forth and back again. Uh, here it goes towards the two-point zone. Rolling in for a reception. Goren backboard couldn't convert the shot there. A little bit of a tough angle as he sailed by. Still 19 seconds. Could we be looking at an overtime? We'll see. Right there, the nest pass, though. Trying to break free, but breaking with the stuns. Newton, a crucial one. One more interception by Fontak this time, playing the deep line very, very well here. And now Tony rolling out. One more shot. Oh, great save. Mighty Mouse. Mighty indeed. That is his house. And he just guarded that with his life. Fantastic start here. 6-6 six to six and an overtime. What a series of plays from both sides. Intercepts, the passes, but then the defense. Absolutely clutch. So as we prepare, two minutes on overtime. Sudden death. Next score will win this first round. It's a best of three, so 
Still got time to burn, as right now just trying to burn each other off of this launch. Goran gets a, a clear out, but on the other side, both teams actually kind of opting to remain uh, deep in their back lines by their bubbles almost. Which is kind of interesting, because I, I mentioned this a lot. When you see between a lot of the teams these days, especially <clears throat> if you're looking uh, even at veteran teams, uh, you know, top tier teams, a lot of times the overtimes, they start so fast and, and they, they end fast. It's kind of uncanny. Right now, it's Tony looking for the goal and the win. It's Tony time getting the win. He celebrates. They're happy. I'm happy because that was a very fun opening round here. And Mirage, in their debut, win their first. But they still have the rest of the match to play here. Eight to six on the scoreboard for round one. So let's see if 18 and under can make a return from down under in the second. If you can get those round threes, always fun. So, I mean, again, looking at the, the stats over here, there's the team stats. Uh, Percentage-wise, uh, percentage wise, you have it all over the place, honestly. Possession time, about a minute separation. Shots taken, not I mean, not too much seven, uh, separation. 7 to 11, so a little bit more in favor of Mirage. Uh, enough to buy them the win there. Assists going in favor of 18 under. Saves, a couple more for 18 and under. And then uh, stuns, not too much separating there either. I mean, yeah. All around, it's a bit, been a good, even matchup. So, uh, going to the stats real quick, give you a look at that, and allow me one moment of silence as I take a sip of water and prepare for the next. Ooh, and that's not good news. Uh, looks like we just lost someone on 18 and under had uh, stopped out, so we may be seeing a reset here. Uh, if, 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 there's, if there's a time to reset, it's going to be now, but it looks like they won't, perhaps? So, uh, okay. No, oh, well, we heard it there first from 18 and under. They, someone got called in by the parents. Oh, no. Didn't they tell them they're playing games? This is important. Come on, parents. Well, either way, 3v4, they're going to still go for it, apparently. Mighty Mouse, not worried about the outnumbered situation because you know what? He gets the goal. They're going to take it. Why not? So as one of their players here in 18 and under, again, true to their name, uh, maybe taking care of some chores, Mighty Mouse doing some chores of his own, playing the cleanup game to get themselves two points on the board, no less. So ideally, 18 under will hopefully get uh, get their teammate back here, or perhaps even get a, a sub in or something. Uh, you know, well, I think I believe they have more than more than four rostered members, so we'll see how that plays out for them. But uh, for now, I mean, they're going to play three on four. Almost disappointing to see, just because of how competitive the first round was. Uh, that said, uh, so far, 18 and under holding their own, but for how long is the question? A good interception by Mighty Mouse. Coming back again, a good pass over to Quotai. There is a one in the goal here. It's Fontac just defending that. And let's see where this goes. A Fontac just staying right, right back as his teammates kind of play aggressively up front. But Mighty Mouse yet again. Been saying his name a lot with yet another interception. Now Newton and Quotai going to look for the boost to try and get the disc back. But it will be in the front line here by the bubble. Tony uh, almost an intercept again by Mighty. But just that one finally missing a grab. Took him long enough. But they're still going to get some grabs on each other for the boost. Getting there rather quickly. Some good stuns by Quotai. Backs it out to Newton. So again, despite the numbers, two minutes into the second round. 18 under very much holding their own. And trying to go for a pass. So, uh, yeah, no harm done as of yet. A lot of stuns coming out. You have another back out. See, Late Toast saying Jaywalker should be on, or Haywalker, if you will, uh, goes, should be on 18 and under. I don't know about that. <laughs> Over on uh, Team Joker enjoying themselves that first place seed. I'm not sure he's planning on leaving anytime soon. But right there, oh, trying to go for the shot that could have put them up by a few had that hit. But uh, just missing that first opportunity. Tony, though, going for another one. A great steal from Kotai. So yet again, the defense from these two teams, very nice. Trying to duck through. Goran getting stunned, though, by Newton. And continuing to stave off the play here for uh, Mirage. 
So as it slowly sails into the other side, Mirage does take it back for them. Sounds like maybe 18 and under uh, couldn't tell everything that was being said, but maybe trying to get their teammate back here. So still a very admiral, admirable job. Or Admiral, why not? Going there, though, for a goal. Cannot, uh, just losing his hands a little bit. So Original will put himself in position for the disc and actually does sail nearby him and he gets it right back. Eventually, maybe. Uh, does slap it down to the bottom. There's Tony over there on the other end as well as uh, Goran and going in for a goal. And Tony continues to roll. Two to two, finally here off a score. Great defense from 18 and under being a man down, but Mirage and Tony with 10 points for his team. Uh, he has definitely been a standout here in his debut competitive match in Echo Arena, not just VRML, but unless I'm mistaken, in Echo Arena as a whole, doing very well for himself with 10 points. Uh, original though, he's gonna go for a great pass to Goran. Goran will roll in again, and this time a four to two going up by a couple here. So uh, thus far, we're about four minutes into the second round. For those just tuning in, I saw the numbers uh, spike up a little bit here over the last few minutes. Very competitive first round. These are two new teams, a lot of new players to competitive, uh, but they're looking super good. Like that shot almost in right there. Right now, the passing has been fantastic. The Just the, uh, the defense. We've seen some great saves that first round. It went to overtime. And there was some clutch saves to force that OT to happen. Right now, though, going for another play. It's original. Happy to get that one. You can see uh, the little celebration there, shaking the fists as they shook the defense loose enough for the goal. So up by four. Mirage here. And 18 and under, still uh, opting to play the 3v4. And of course, just to clarify as well, uh, rule wise, so in a series, you're allowed one tech timeout uh, per series per team. Uh, but just as well, you're, you are allowed timeouts between rounds up to five minutes that are, don't uh, inherently count towards a tech issue necessarily. So being that the crash did happen before the round had even, even started, uh, you know, it was an option you know, to uh, time out and for five minutes and try and organize themselves. So not sure whether or not these teams were aware. That's kind of uh, up to them whether they obviously call the timeout and press the button or not. But yes, that is indeed the case. Either way, they're trying to play this 1-3-4 oh, still. Oh, oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know if you guys can hear these comms. I'm assuming you can. But the parents right now dragging all the players away from 18 and under. Which would be a true shame because this has been a great match. Uh, right here, if they can get it, they'll put themselves within one point, going for the three, a rebound perhaps. Kotai reaching for the skies and he'll get on by, but look at that grab from Original, denying an opportune time to bring it back to two points. Kotai still gets it back. Going for some spin moves, whirls and twirls. Doesn't find the goal, but Mighty Mouse certainly will get the rebound. Trying to hand it off to Newton. Newton unable to grab that one at first. A good shield on one of the defenders, but Tony's still pulling on through with a short-range boost leeching off. And now Mighty Mouse also with a leech trying to come through with that one. Takes it back and looks for the players. A tough thing here, uh, having only three players on the floor, is you really don't have opportunities for those multiple stacks, which is a really important part about 4v4. That speed and making sure you can get to the front line as fast as possible, you know, with multiple teammates available. Not to mention, multiple teammates available on passes. So original there with his a good defense, forcing a quick pass. We'll get over back to Kotai again, though. Defense here from Mirage, forcing these very quick passes. A Mighty Mouse unable to hold onto this for too long, and 18 and under as a whole, being pressured very well. A uh, jump move attempted by Kotai, but he'll just get stunned instead, lose the disc again. So it got stuck on uh, the blue side of the floor for quite a while, and in fact, it will remain there. So there it goes, one more time. Maybe a rebound here from Mighty Mouse. There is one at goal, it's Fontek. So still two and a half minutes left and a little bit of time to spare, but they do need to get rid of that disc and uh, cannot do so quite fast enough. So instead, there goes the boost. Uh, will be 18 and under getting there first. Well, a little bit of an overshoot though will enable uh, Fontek to contest it, but a good punch from Mighty Mouse as he dishes it back out to the midline. 
Goran Jr. taking this one back for his team. Uh, there's a spreading on the floor here, looking for maybe some passing plays. One more to the corner. Fontag right on track. Eight to two. Like I said, from a for a uh, roster of players that I have not streamed or seen before, boy, are they organized on these passes. They're making all the right ones. Uh, you're not seeing a lot of the... You know, a lot of times when you when you get in, into a competitive for the first time, if all you have uh, is pub experience before, you're not going to be as used to just playing positionally and playing passes. But right now, uh, Mirage, really, they've been doing a good job. Like you can see here, just spreading out for the opportune angles to get those passes. That one a little bit off, but it was still the right move. And uh, very happy to see that. Goran, though, going in, ducking through, and look at that one! Mighty Mouse, another save! He's had a couple at least of some big ones as well. And that is just beautiful to maybe even go for a goal. Wow, that was very close. So one more pass or shot rather from Kotai will go off the backboard. Couldn't convert on the shot. One minute left and still sticking in it. I mean, six point deficit here. So time not on the side for a comeback uh, at this point, perhaps. But 18 and under really holding it together despite all of the stormy weather that they're dealing with. As well as the parents. Uh, coming in and maybe pulling them by the ear off the headsets. Who knows the situation exactly, but... But hey. <laughs> Either or, still a fantastic uh, first week and a half for 18 and under. Really like what I've seen from them. But in terms of Mirage in their debut, impressing uh, just the same, even more so perhaps, with how organized they've been. I think the one critique too, seeing from 18 and under a little bit, and actually we see it, see it from Goran right there. You see some of those jukey moves as one more shot goes through off for a three. Fontak right there. But if there's like one thing I could point out, just maybe a few times uh, seeing 18 and under going for kind of those jumps or duck plays, which work great in pubs. Uh, at, at comp play, it's, it's a well you can't go to too much. Uh, Teams get very good with cutting those things off and recognizing it at the competitive level. So uh, it's definitely good to pull off the jukes, the jukes when possible. But uh, and you can see the, the good games going through, but I need some frustration as well, uh, understandably, because 18 and under losing some of their players here midway through the match. That's definitely a tough uh, thing to to do and to deal with. But uh, but yeah. So what was I even saying? Um, yeah, this level of play too, just really prioritizing passing plays more, which Mirage definitely did. Uh, you know, hence that first round victory uh, when they did have the full team that they're going against, and then the second round just the same. Uh, you didn't really see too much of the, you know, the steezy moves. You saw just a lot of team play, and that really bought them a lot of goals. I mean, look at the highlight screen right there. You can see it just pass, passing play after passing play. Really opened it up for Mirage. Uh, over on 18 and under side, again, just a tough break b uh, due to the losing out of that one player. But, I mean, they had some fantastic defense, if uh, nothing else. I mean, Tony blew up for 10 points. Super impressive. Mighty Mouse and, and Kotai. I mean, look at that. Four saves for Mighty, three saves for Kotai, as well as, uh, I mean, a bunch of stuns. So, defensively, fantastic from 18 and under. Offensively, fantastic from Mirage. So... Uh, great debut for them. Congrats on that win. They'll improve their record to 1-0. and zero. 18 and under will go now to 0-2. Oh and two. All right. So, with that match uh, in the books, looking forward to seeing more of their, their teams uh, in, in later in the week. But as far as later today, we do have at least the one match scheduled. And uh, yes, it will be Legends, formerly SSVC Legends, uh, pairing up here against Nova for a challenge match, another challenge match. I feel like I casters curse this last week, because in the Discord I mentioned uh, we only usually get one challenge match per week, maybe two on a, on a good week. Last week we had four, this week we already have three. So maybe I uh, kind of jinxed it, but... I'm not complaining. Always happy to see more matches at play, especially the challenge ones, because uh, they g really get to see some uh, good variety thrown in there when teams get to also choose choose their matchups a little bit once per week. So we'll uh, see how that one unfolds. I'll get that casted later tonight between Legends and Nova. Also worth noting, the Legends roster has now added Caption to the mix, actually. So that will be fun to watch uh, if he does debut tonight. So. 
looking forward to that. Caption, of course, most recently a member of There Is No Team, uh, and in, in preseason, a member of Rampage. But a very good player. First, really got to see a lot of uh, what he can do back in Pizza League Season 2, uh, back in last summer. And ever since then, just been coming along and uh, making his name known. Very, a very good player. Very skilled. And uh, just a good dude in general. You know, one of, uh, one of our best casters and just a friend to many players. So it'll be fun to see him debut later tonight, assuming that he does. But anyway, that will do it for us here tonight. So as you get a look at those highlights one last time, I've been Palador. This has been VR Master League. Uh, we'll be back in just a little under two hours for our second and probably final match of uh, this Monday evening. So until then, be safe, wash your hands, be healthy, uh, have yourselves a good night.